Hey guys, getting started with Hive 2. So I'm really, really excited about this because uh, I've been playing with Hive uh, for the past couple of uh, weeks or so and I'm super, super impressed. So um, let's, uh, let's just wait a few more minutes for folks to join and this is going to be beginner's guide or kind of first look if that's, uh, that's something that you're thinking about wanting to know what exactly is Hive and you know what kind of sounds you can get from this and what kind of um, creative ideas you might find here. So this is it. Um, so uh, we have Neon Soul here. Uh, will you be able to watch this later? Yes, I'm gonna leave the recording. But I do have a video for beginners, so you actually can already uh, watch that. I mean, it's it's ready in my channel, so just check it out. And if you still have any questions or anything, I'm uh, I'm available. So you can uh, ping me in Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, whatever. So uh, don't worry about it. Uh, just uh, folks, just let me know. I uh, really, really appreciate if you can let me know how the sound goes if uh, if you are hearing me loud and clear and if you can hear the hive <laughs> right did uh, did you hear the music i really need some feedback here so uh, great Great, so um, let's jump right into this because um, this is really, really fun stuff. And I'm going to repeat a few things uh, in the course of the next uh, 45 minutes or so. So even if uh, folks are joining a little bit later, don't worry, I'm going to sort of cover the basics pretty good. First of all, let's have a quick overview of the user face uh, user interface right just uh, I mean just the basic stuff and then I'm gonna do uh, some preset demos so uh, you can appreciate some stuff and then we'll create some sounds on our own and mess around with uh, whatever we have here so um, really really excited about this so first of all this is a virtual analog synthesizer and we have a lot of things that you can do here with the oscillator. So we have four oscillators. We have oscillator one and oscillator two. Then we have sub one and sub two. And if you click this here, right, I mean the the menu just on the top here, you'll see we have choices. So we have sine wave, so to triangle, all these guys. And we also have pulse. And we have half pulse, we have narrow, and by the way, uh, pro tip, you can actually modulate that and move it around uh, and, and have that modulated. You, you, you won't be able to find anything here. Uh, this width here, that's not the width of the pulse width, it's uh, related to the detuning, so we'll get there. And... Um, Yeah, so uh, I, I don't have, okay, question here, uh, Repro 5 versus Hive. So I don't have Repro 5, I can't really comment on that, but it's a completely different type of synthesizer. Hive is a beast. It's really, uh, it has a little bit more modern touch than the Repro or even, um, uh, even the other offerings by Yuhi, uh, like uh, Diva, because it, it, it is modern, it, is, uh, it has wavetables, right, and let me show you that. So once you select here a wavetable, I'm gonna just turn off the arpeggiator and the sequencer, then you can click this drop down here, and you'll see that we have tons really a lot of different categories and wave uh, tables. So I'm going to get one of those. And if you click and drag up, you'll see that we are sort of scanning 
we're going through the index of the wavetable. And so when you select wavetable, and, and in, a, in a moment I'm going to clear everything. We're going blank and we'll start from scratch. But um, um, I'm going to, uh, I, I, I think the idea with wavetables is definitely about evolving sound. So you want the sound to go and do something and not just be static. Though you can just find a, you know, a spot. But it really makes sense if you go into the wavetable view here and then click this one shot or even loop so it, it keeps scanning but um, let's go one step back so we have the oscillators we have four oscillators and if you want them to make any sound they have to go through the filter so we have two filters one in each side it doesn't matter I mean it's there's uh, you can you can route oscillator 2 and sub 2 into filter 1 or the other way that's that's perfectly fine whatever i mean whatever use you have for the filters that's fine and then you can route things into each of those so uh, i'm going to show you that in a moment so that's the idea here and we also have different types of filters so right now, and that's the default, we have low pass 24, which is uh, a, a little bit more steep. It's 24 dBs per octave. And uh, then we have the 12. We have band pass. And let me show you something about the filters. So there are a couple of things that you can do to change the cutoff point. Um, so one of them will be the LFO right here and the mode envelope. And so you can start anywhere. Let's start here. And now I can turn this LFO um, halfway through the right side. Right, so that's the idea the idea here we can just use the LFO instead of doing some very complicated um, modulations and matrices and which I'm gonna show you guys so it's uh, it's much easier to just use the LFO right here I'm gonna show you that in a moment when we'll start from scratch again so we have the filters then we have the amp envelope and the mod envelope and you can see that we have the mod envelope right here we also have the LFO right here. So we have two LFOs and four different envelopes where AMP1 and AMP2 are already wired to our oscillators. And then right in the middle here, we have tons of stuff that you can do. First of all, we have the ARP sequencer. We have the XY the XY pad here, which you can assign, and I'm going to show you that in a moment. We have the effects, and finally we have the scope. And on the bottom, we have the keys, where you can see keys and stuff, and uh, th there's the XY, XY1, 2, and 3, which you can uh, see the assignments right here. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you that later. And then we have some modulation options, like we can use the mod wheel to modulate stuff. I'm going to show you that. And we also have the matrixes that shows you the modulations. It's pretty easy. So, but we are beginners, right? So let, let me know uh, if you still have any questions on the basics here. And uh, I'm just assuming you guys, uh, I mean, I'm a beginner. That's, uh, that's going to be like basic stuff. So first thing first, let's go through the presets and see what's up here. So we have a lot of presets. And if you right click, you'll see that you can assign to your own favorites. We have eight slots for favorites that you can do whatever. 
and there's also options for you to rename and, and do stuff but it that that's not very very um, important right now so when you click on on any of those it's already loaded you don't need to double click or anything like that so let let's have a listen to some of the presets <laughs> And you can see that there, there, there are really a lot of presets here. Right, so uh, that, that's the basis. Let's, let's try the loops melodic. Really like those. So uh, these, these will use some of the advanced options in Hive, which I'm going to show you. Right, and there are there are so many very, very good presets. And let's try some of the chords. Really love the richness of the chords that they have here. Right, and it's it's almost. I'd say it's easy. It's not it's not very easy, but it, it is easy to kind of get uh, how the presets are really programmed. And you can see that we have um, oscillator one is set to zero octaves and zero semitones, um, and then we have the sub one, which is like the oscillator. It is sort of connected um, and then on, on the second oscillator we see that we have uh, uh, five semitones up which is basically creating our chord All right if I'm gonna just move that back to zero All right it, it is going I mean, I mean let's let's do just solo this And you can see that we are tuned here with this uh, oscillator here, with this sub oscillator. Right, and... So it's three semitones and so on. So that's uh, that, That's pretty much the, the idea here. So now um, I'm going to just right click, go into the init and we'll repeat some of the stuff that I already mentioned and this time we're just going to create something um, just create something from scratch right so we have the sawtooth 
just note that the init preset takes you with uh, minus 12 transposition here so it's it's lower um, out of the box so I can just go set this to zero and you can see that we have the scope right here and I'm gonna show you some cool stuff with the scope uh, a little bit later so now we can we can definitely start with some uh, unison voices and detuning now in in synthesizers we always have the amp envelope or we have an envelope which is sort of connected to our amp to our amplifier which in this case is going to be amp one and if you guys want to have the sound sort of uh, fading out slower um, yeah <laughs> I got Victor in uh, in our uh, Facebook just mentioning that uh, the hive should be 90, 90 degrees turned so sorry about that hey Victor if you are in the in the live stream just say hello <laughs> um, right so back to our business so we we have this uh, show to here and we are going into the amp and you can see that only oscillator one is turned on right now All right without that there's no sound and I'm going to set the release uh, up uh, into almost the middle but not quite and now it's probably good time to uh, play with the cutoff All right so we can do something like that boost uh, uh, the resonance and that already sounds nice and what I can do right now is a couple of things first of all we can go into the effects add some effects that's cool and what we can also do is turn on sub oscillator right here so the sub oscillator is is ready to use all we need to do is just turn it on right here so as you can see the layout is pretty easy even if you're um, kind of new in uh, in synthesizers it's pretty easy to um, to understand what's going on here and I actually would like to recommend you guys to go to Yuhi channel where they have a complete uh, series complete course I don't know it's a, it's a complete uh, playlist of videos covering everything in Hive 2 so really recommended so now let's have a listen I have oscillator 1 and sub 1 so that's with and without just I hope you're listening to this in uh, in your um, studio or studio headphones so you can hear the sub oscillator and we can definitely tune that to whatever you consider it is like 10 semitones down Right, 12 semitones down and I can change that to a sine wave or maybe even uh, maybe a sawtooth but let's leave that in a half so now again since we are beginners uh, one of the very 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 common moves that we have in uh, in many patches is to have the filter open up or close and we can use the mod envelope so we have mod envelope right here mod env envelope one is right here and as you can see we have these numbers here one and two so you can decide which uh, which mod envelope will be our filter one 
uh, mode envelope. So I'm going with the default here with one and you can set the amount. So the question is, how much do I want mod one to affect our cutoff? So th this is both of these LFO and the mod envelope are sort of connected to our cutoff. So I can uh, I can do that and just go, let's go all the way for now. And you can see as I play, it immediately goes and open up everything. And that that's related basically to our attack. So the slower the attack, the slower it will open up. And, it, and when we're talking about the attack, the higher you go, the more you push up, that's uh, more time. That's going to be slower. It's going to take more time to open up. And if you want to control the closure, if you want to control how much time would it take for the filter to go back into its original position, that's going to be controlled by the release. <laughs> And one thing to note about this, and that's uh, again something like basic synthesis, is to match the release, the attacks and the release, but mostly the release of the amp envelope and the mod envelope. Because um, the amp envelope will be, um, if, if it will be closing, um, if it will be releasing faster, then the mod envelope, then we won't get that uh, closure sound. So most of the time I'm, I'm matching them or even get the amp envelope just a bit uh, above the mod envelope. <laughs> Right, and now we can add some effects. So this is our effect rack in Hive 2. So we have distortion, chorus, reverb, phaser, EQ, comp, and delay. And you can definitely move them around. So, uh, but once you click that, you'll see the reverb controls to the left here. Uh, if I'll push it all the way to the down, it's still here. So. That's how they designed that. And we have the mix and we have the size. We have tone and dump. Right, so all of that. And I can add some chorus effect. Cool. And now if we want something a little bit more um, interesting, we can change the oscillator one from Sawtooth, we can change that to wavetable and just go and try some stuff. For example, I really love the formats. It's a lot of uh, fun. So we have, uh, let's try this one. Or maybe the next. And, and we can change that to uh, Redux Voice. <laughs> Right? And so that's that's really fun. And what we can do is we can scan this. And we hear this yai yai. So what I can do is go into the wavetable here and just try just try and so a few things. So first of all. I'll, I'll show you a couple of things. First of all, this is the position right here in the middle. We have the position of the wave uh, table. So, and, and I got few ways, few things that I can do to uh, automate that. But we already have, and this is really cool. This is really cool. I really love that idea that they, they have the mod envelope right here. And we also have the um, the option uh, for the LFO, which I'm going to show you. But here we have one shot, and also uh, of also a loop, and so uh, that's uh, that's really easy and very very useful. So um, 
I'm just checking out some uh, some uh, um, messages. Let's see if we have something in our uh, chat, guys. And um, I mean, just say hello and Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm really, really happy to see you guys here in this uh, spontaneous live stream. It's very, very hard for me to schedule those. Um, I'm usually super busy. I never know, never know when, uh, when I'll get uh, a little bit of uh, free time for live streams. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited about this opportunity here to, to jump on a quick uh, live stream. So if we click this one shot, it's going to do just one cycle. <laughs> And if I click this loop, it's going to just keep repeating. But we also have another loop that goes uh, back and forth, back and forth. And we can change the tempo. Nice. And there are some other things that you can do here, but I'm not going into that right now. So um, th there are other, a little bit more advanced uh, things that you can do here, like split the wavetable into up to, up to 16 different groups of wavetables and then scan them together, things like that. <laughs> Again, always when you're creating sound, remember you can change the oscillator and just get some more stuff. And we didn't even start with oscillator 2, which we can use, uh, by the way, very easily. What I can do is just route that, route the oscillator 2 right here in, into this filter, and now we will hear it. <laughs> Right, that's uh, that's uh, soloing it, and we can change we can change the semitones. Things like that, um, yeah. Anyway, so. Th thanks, Yavs. So we have we have more stuff to show you here. So let's uh, let's see some other options how to modulate, how to use the modulation. So I'm gonna just go back to off right here. So we have the the position, and what I can do is I can take the LFO. You can see that the LFO right here, and Everywhere you see this crosshair, where, where you see this bullseye here, that is a source. That is a source of modulation. It's something you can use to modulate other things. So these are the modulators, and uh, we can use that. So I, I can just draw this like, like so, and I'll click and drag up, and you will see the modulation and you can also see that right here in the wavetable on the top left and now we are modulating the um, the position but we are doing that with our LFO and the LFO is pretty fast it's too pa too fast maybe so I can uh, change the rate <laughs> And I can even change the uh, just the the wave shape for I mean create a, do this with a sine wave. There's polarity if you want this to be uh, unipolar or a bipolar uh, LFO. 
So something else that you can do to uh, to modulate stuff, and by the way, once you do that, once you do anything like that, you'll see it appearing right here in the modulation matrix on the bottom. So just have a look here on the bottom, you'll see we have LFO1, that's the source, and that one is affecting, it, it is modulating the position, and you can see the amount. And you can see that once I'm I'm just dialing that uh, knob here, I'm uh, I'm I mean that's really identical to going right here and just changing the um, the modulation amount. How much would it be uh, affecting? And it is an LFO, so it goes back and forth, back and forth. So it's really uh, easy easy something here so um, just before we get uh, into more stuff uh, that I want to show you like the arpeggiator and maybe the scope uh, I'll just uh, mention briefly that I do have a shop that's the my audio studio shop and hopefully it will work it's a very stormy day today, so internet is not that great. Um, that's my shop, my audio studio. So you're all welcome to spend your Christmas money on uh, plugins. And we have plugins from East West. We have plugins from sound um, uh, particles, whatever. Anyway, you're most welcome to uh, contact me directly if there's anything you're thinking about and maybe you have a question or maybe you want some extra discount just let me know that's my audio studio just search it my audio studio and also if you want to support the channel um, again that's uh, I mean all, all the time that I'm investing in uh, in, uh, in this channel, helping people. I, I spend a lot of time talking with folks and trying to get them sorted out with many, many problems. So um, that is a very, very time-consuming stuff that I do. If you want to support the channel, one of the ways will be to uh, click this thanks button right below. So you can uh, tip, whatever, you can go. That's in, in my currency, shekels. Um, but you can you can do that. And I, uh, I can tell you personally, I, I do that for other YouTubers. When I get a good advice, if somebody was helping me, uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm spending on that. And also, of course, you're most welcome to join right here below any of my videos. Join my uh, channel membership program where you can get some free uh, free plugins from time to time and one-on-one -on -one sessions with myself uh, where we can talk about anything and I can maybe help you with something or teach you something and whatever we decide. And there are discounts and coupons and stuff. So that's a great way to support the channel. And uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Other than that, of course, in any of my videos, you'll see in the description tons of uh, links right here. These are um, just affiliate links, meaning if you buy anything, I'll get a little bit of commission. So all that money, tons of money goes into my local coffee shop where I buy coffee and donuts. So uh, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. And plugins, right? <laughs> so... Um, Let's go back to our business here. So I wanted to show you a couple of uh, things that you maybe didn't know about um, about Hive. And first of all, we have the uh, ARP sequencer right here. So what you can do is just turn on the arpeggiator and play a chord and it will just arpeggiate it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm a total plugin addict. I I really should go to rehab, and I think I'm turning into a plugin pusher or, or dealer, right? So, 
I'm, I'm just uh, dragging people down to uh, plug in hell together with me. So uh, that, that's how it goes. Um, let me show you some more uh, things that you can do here. And I'm going to just find some other sounds for fun. So let's, uh, let's go and find our uh, keys. Okay, Scandinavian Forest. Um, so I can turn on the arpeggiator. We can see that we can set up to four oct octaves and then just play. But we can also we can also turn on the sequencer and we can set the number of steps. Let's set that for to four. And you can just transpose. So I can go and transpose that. Uh, to whatever right and you can even record um, just record the, the the sequence so I can turn it off uh, record and just play Whatever you play, it will record it. So um, I can turn it back into play and... Right, and we can again record. And then again, play. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, that that's really fun. And other things that you can do to uh, to modulate stuff is let's turn it off. Is use this uh, shaping thing here. So you can see that this is it. It looks very cool. And you can see that as I'm playing whatever, it just goes and 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 moves places. So what I can do is I can use this to modulate things. Uh, what can I modulate with that? So I, I can modulate with that the cutoff, for example. And click and drag it up. And you'll see that we, when we were clicking this, we're we having those shapes. Every time we play something, it just keep, keeps on moving. Yes, uh, the, the number of steps that you have, you, uh, I think you have six, 16 steps. Okay, so you can see that we have uh, 1 through 16. Right, so you can see how that works. And uh, we can try another sound. And another one. Right. And again, we have shape one right here. So there's a lot of things that you can do with this. And I actually covered up one in, uh, in the beginner's guide that I uploaded a couple of days ago. Um, so other things that we have which are very, very interesting 
is uh, let's go back to the init and get a little bit more voices some unison um, detuning and we have the uh, we have the cutoff here and let's turn on the sub go into the effects get a little bit of distortion reverb phaser and what what nice about this one you can see the the gain reduction right here and the distortion is a bit too much and we can drag the shape here to cut off point right here and you can see you can see the shape right here so let's just do this and we have things like that and we can change the time base so that can be faster and I can go in shape B can be maybe the resonance so let's do that So you can actually do this. Um, let me just read what we have. Um, all right, Yavis, thanks for joining and good night. Merry Christmas. Right, that's uh, pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. So there's a lot of things you can do here and it really is so sounds great. But let me show you something um, else. I'm going to just set this to none. Um, and this one as well, none. So I'm just removing the um, the shapes here. And what you can do, by the way, you can grab the mod wheel right from here. And I'm grabbing that, just dropping it on the cutoff and setting the modulation. And now my, let me go into the keys. You see that we are affecting the low pass. <laughs> And we can change, let's change that one to uh, square. Very, very nice. And I can change that to a pluck. And let's set the transposition to zero. Let's move to sign, get the, um, the resonance way up. Cool. So that is pretty much it. And that, that was a kind of quick hive to beginner's guide really hope you enjoy this one and again if you if you have any questions or anything just let me know i i do have tons of videos on uh, on sound design and where i show how to create sounds not on hive i'm planning um another video just covering hive uh, start start to finish sound design i'm going to show you how to create some cool sounds for beginners and if uh, if you have any questions or anything like that just again reach out in facebook and twitter and you know all over the place uh, and you are welcome to join my uh, discord by the way i didn't mention that where is my discord here it is 
So we have this uh, Discord in my uh, videos. In any of the videos, you see link to Discord. And here we have a community where we can actually chat and talk and uh, just uh, exchange knowledge and recommendation, deals, whatever, everything here in my Discord. So you are most welcome to join. And uh, that's uh, pretty much it. So uh, thank you so much. If, uh, if we don't uh, see each other, uh, Happy New Year, uh, Happy New Year and uh, Merry Christmas, of course. And uh, that, that is it for now. So uh, again, I'm, I'm really, really happy to see folks joining uh, without, uh, without a lot of notice. Let's do another, let's do another live stream um, next week. And uh, I'm gonna show you some more, some more cool stuff. I uh, I don't know if you guys uh, interested in any other products by Yuhi. I only have Hive, but I can uh, definitely look into uh, covering other synthesizers by Yuhi. Um, and uh, that that is pretty much it. So um, oh, and and. By the way, just to let you know, th this is really uh, an a NKS, NKS compatible. So uh, by the way, uh, you don't see that I have a complete control keyboard. But if you go and um, just open this up in complete control, you'll see that we have um, we have all the instruments right here gonna take a moment or it's gonna crush me I don't know so um, right so all the way down I got tons of stuff here it is so in complete control you can find the banks and then you can uh, you can do uh, some some other filtering and searching and all the keys are basically mapped so uh, you don't see that Okay, so that is it. I'm done for today. Uh, it's been a very, very long day for me. And I'm going to finish it up uh, with a cup of tea. And uh, I'll see you soon.